has won 21 Grand Slam singles titles, second only to Margaret Court's 24. She spent a total of 364 weeks, or seven years of her career, at number one. She's earned more than $20 million in prize money and could overtake Martina Navratilova as the all-time money winner on the women's tour in this tournament. Steffi Graf played her last U.S. Open in 1996. She took the championship, not dropping a set the entire tournament. Looking back as I'm standing in the rain at the ceremony, I, uh, playing um, Monica in the finals, and just standing there in the rain and having that, you know, just standing there and enjoying every second of it. Uh, that's one of the, the, mem the strongest memories, probably. That was also the last Grand Slam final that Steffi Groff reached. Since that memorable 1996 day in Flushing Meadows, her career has been cursed by one injury after another. I've had, uh, Arthroscopic surgery in the beginning of last year. I had a major, major operation in the middle of the year, which uh, has been taking me out of playing tennis uh, for more than nine months. Another major distraction came from her father, Peter, who was sent to prison in Germany for tax evasion. <laughs> Today, Steffi Graf, in true champion's form, has been able to put much of the pain behind her and focus on her tennis. She took her first title of 1998 just before the Open and is finally feeling relaxed on the court. What I'm looking for is enjoying myself and playing well, but I'm definitely not having expectations any further than that. I mean, I still go out with the same effort, maybe even sometimes uh, trying harder because uh, I appreciate it more now, but, you know, it, it still means so much to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gone through what I've gone through the past few months. For quite some time, uh, I didn't, you know, feel that I needed a sport that much. That knowledge has freed Groff in certain ways. Always uncomfortable with the public and insecure about her appearance, she surprised the tennis world last year when she sought the spotlight by posing in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Today, she seems at ease not only with the media, but with herself. Yeah, I want to do well, it's no question. If it doesn't need to be a grand slam, no, it doesn't have to. And I definitely don't need to break my record. <laughs> record of 24 Grand Slams. Um, just to repeat that one more time, I don't need that. <laughs> I'm not, I didn't come back for that at all. You know, it's just for the pure pleasure. And oh, by the way, if Steffi wins this match tonight, she will overtake Martina Navratilova as the all-time money winner on the women's tour. They're about to get ready to get started out at Arthur Ashe Stadium. Let's toss it upstairs to Ted Robinson and Tracy Austin. Thanks very much, Bill. Well, Tracy, we've seen it now on Steffi. Is her game at the level right now to win Grand Slam number 22 here? It depends on which Steffi Groff comes out here. We saw her play in the first round. She went three sets with Karina Marariu, making way too many unforced errors. Next two matches came out, barely gave away any games. So Steffi is still having trouble with her concentration, going back and forth. And it depends what game she comes out here with tonight. She's going to have to be at the top of her game, though, because Patty Schneider is a very, very tough competitor. And tonight we're going to introduce many of you across America to Patty Schneider. She is the number 10 ranked player in the world, but still in much of this uh, tennis world, the sporting world, a relative unknown. 15 old. She's been labeled the second Swiss Miss. <laughs> She's older than Martina Hingis. And Tracy, five tour titles, the winningest woman on tour this year. That's right. She's really come on strong this year. Right from the beginning of the year, one in Hobart, Hanover and Madrid, three different surfaces, and then a couple more in the summer. Really a crafty player. Tough left lefty serve. 
mixes it up well. A bigger forehand than backhand, but backhand nice and consistent. Moves pretty well, but, but can get lazy, Ted, with her footwork. That's one thing that she's working on. Left-handed uh, player pose a problem for Steffi tonight? I think her serve will because she has a left-handed kicker that not a lot of the women have. And of course, because it's a lefty, it's going to kick the other way. Again, Schneider. And Patty Schneider opens up with a hold of serve. Okay. Want to take a peek inside the vault? Here's what's coming up. We've got movies that kick. What are you gonna do? Do it. Crash. Mm. Collide. Now this whole relationship is based on. Ah, 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 excuse me. And the stars to match. Oh my God. When you want a movie. Ah! When you've got to have one. Mm. Go ahead. Dive into the vault on USA. Today, tonight, and tomorrow, three days only at Kids Warehouse, save up to 70%. San Diego's largest selection of baby furniture, cribs, strollers, car seats, clothing, shoes, learning toys, children's books, and much more. Today, tonight, and tomorrow, three days only at Kids Warehouse, save up to 70%. Make no down payment and pay no interest till the year 2000, or pay no sales tax. This Labor Day weekend, at the Bedroom Superstore. Save on America's largest selection of beds and bedrooms. Plus, no down payment and no interest till the year 2000. Or pay no sales tax only at the Bedroom Superstore. Advance Auto Accessories specializes in name brand performance and motoring accessories. Check out these specials. New speed lowering springs, just $149.95. Spoilers painted and installed starting at $229.95. Custom exhaust systems from $199.95. And Viper 300 Plus, just $229.95 installed. Advance is your one stop for performance, security, and audio sales and installation. Advance Auto Accessories for the highest quality products and service at competitive prices. Advance Auto Accessories, two locations to serve you. Steffi Groff now in her first service game after Patty Schneider held to begin the match. It's been a great year for Patty Schneider, but Steffi Groff has not been a part of it. Groff's come back. This is the first time the two have ever played. Groff playing a limited schedule coming back from knee surgery that she had last June. Out, out. 15, 15, Ted, those are the kind of shots that Steffi Groff cannot afford to make tonight. Those unforced airs on the forehand, her biggest weapon. One title in 98, and that was New Haven the week before the U.S. Open. Ball. We should explain that discrepancy. She's ranked 26 with C to date. Special WTA seating for this event. champion here. It's interesting, uh, Trace, didn't hear too much uh, comment about Steffi getting a seed here, despite the low rank. No, everybody feels it's extremely fair. WTA gave her the special ranking of seven for seeding purposes. Again, Schneider. Well, there's exactly what you're talking about, Trace. A few errors, and suddenly run. Patty Schneider up a break in the first set. And that's why everybody that's seeded past seven gets bump down one. Conchita Martinez is the seventh player in the world, so it wasn't fair to bump her down. So they bumped Steffi Groff down to number eight. It's, there's something that they're going to evaluate after the U.S. Open, and I think it's extremely fair because Steffi obviously has played a limited schedule because of the knee surgery. It's a nice contrast to all of the discussion about Monica Seles' ranking when she came back. I'm sure the start, Patty Schneider 
with Bremer. Those who know. And usually Steffi Groff is a fast starter. <laughs> this is surprising and something that she cannot afford because Patty Schneider is very confident. Forty love. Patty Schneider has been working with Eric Van Harpen for two and a half years. Eric was the one who worked with Conchita Martinez for so many years. And Conchita Martinez, of course, went on to win Wimbledon in 1994. 14, 15. I talked to Eric before the match, and, and really, I was really impressed with how well he knows the tennis game. And another forehand error by Groff, so Patty Schneider up three love in the first. Schneider leads three games to love. There is a business class seat that tilts as a whole, raising your knees, distributing your weight evenly, and relaxing every part of your body, which makes it oh so easy to drift off. Club World Cradle Seat, only on British Airways, the world's favorite airline. has changed to 10, 10, 3, 2, 1, but nothing's really changed. You still save over AT&T on every call in the U.S. and still save 50% on every call over 20 minutes. There's no need to sign up. Just dial 10, 10, 3, 2, 1, then 1, then the number as usual. For me, it's the 50%, isn't it? this Sunday night at the National Tennis Center, Steffi Groff getting into a bit of an early hole, and of course, the women's best of three, that becomes a lot more important. Now, quickly to 30 love on her serve. Steffi Groff up and ready to serve. Doesn't take the 20 seconds allowed in between points. And as an opponent of Steffi, you really have to slow down and take your time, not let her set the tempo of the match. 40, 15. When you're serving. No. Even when you're receiving. Even when you're not serving. You can take your time, look at your strings a little bit, walk around. She has to wait till you're ready to receive serve. Game off. So a hold for drop. 3-1 Schneider first set. Last weekend, Steffi Graf played a tournament in New Haven that originally she had not planned to play. And the result was a great one after a disappointing hardcore season. Trace, she beats Yana Novotna to win the whole thing. That's right. And Lindsay Davenport, who was the hottest player on the tour this summer in the semifinals. So, real confidence booster for Steffi Graf just a couple of days before the U.S. Open started. With that, I should mention that the two tournaments that she played before New Haven, in San Diego, she lost in the second round to Ai Sugiyama, 7-5 in the third. In the Canadian, in the third round, to Maui Serna, in straight set. It's got to be one of her worst losses in a long, long time. 
Not to take well, anything away from Maui Cerna, but uh, we're talking about Steffi Groff, 21 Grand Slam titles. And 104 singles titles. Long ways, however, behind the incredible pace of Martina and Chris. But not so far behind Margaret Court in Grand Slam mm -hmm. titles. Margaret Court has 24. is not as good as that forehand side. You'll see that Patty Schneider, when she can, will try to run the back, around the backhand, hit the inside out forehand. Forehand definitely more dangerous and it's, it's tough to read. That kick serve right there that she has, that kicked out wide to Steffi Groff's forehand, that's not a shot that Steffi sees all the time because the lefty kick. Oh! Again, Schneider. So Patty Schneider's service games have been easy thus far. Schneider leads four games to one. Center in New York City. Fourth round women's match. Steffi Graf has not lost before the quarterfinals at the U.S. Open since the very first time she played in the main draw here as a 15 year old in 1984. Of course, she didn't play at all here last year, but every other U.S. Open she's played and she's at least made the quarters. It's a remarkable, remarkable run. So consistent over the years. 15 long. 29 years old now. Oh. Oh. So, he said, I talked to Eric Van Harpen and, and he feels that Patty Schneider has gotten to the top 10 without even really working that hard. Oh! He would like to see her work hard. He actually went as so far as to call her lazy. I was going to say, that's not necessarily a compliment. Think about what you could do if you really start to work hard and start to move your feet. Said it's not the so length cool. of how, how long that she practices, but it's the quality. And you know, that's so key, that's so important because what you do on the practice court definitely carries over to how you play a match. The big first serve that sets up short forehand for her to put away. 
first forehand winner. Again, Bob. And then the finish, so drop holds. Schneider leads four games to two. Schneider's still up a break in the first. Schneider has only lost five points on her serve in three games. And that's not good for Steffi. As you mentioned, her first forehand winner comes in the fifth game. She needs to have that come about the third point of the match. a hit to the Patty Schneider forehand. It's almost like she's used to hitting to that side. 13 on four stairs already for Steffi. She's going to have to change that backhand slice of hers to up, up the line to the Patty Schneider backhand more often. Steffi Graf, obviously, that we've seen here at the U.S. Open, spraying the ball all over the place. Game, Schneider. You both Boy, see. Schneider holds again at love. 5-2 in the first. Schneider leads five games to two. There'll come a day when your photos will be so sharp, everyone will know Cousin Minnie's not really 29. Films 35 millimeter superior film. Just one reason why that day is today. Introducing a sports sedan that sets a new standard of performance and a touring sedan that sets a new standard of luxury. TL from Acura. For more than 145 years, people across America have relied on Mass Mutual for life insurance and financial security. Mass Mutual, the blue chip company. We help you keep your promises. has had control of his first set. And Tracy, what about Graf's forehand? Let's take a look how she tries to roll over the wrist at impact to get a little topspin because her forehand has been flying. Very unusual for Steffi to try to add topspin to that forehand because she usually hits it so flat. But in the last game, missed both return of serves off the forehand side, both long. is when she starts to lose confidence on that side, it's really tough for her to correct because it is so flat. If she, what she has to do is, is keep driving the ball, can't get tentative, but just give herself more of a margin for error. Don't aim for the line. Ball too low. right now is one break. Schneider broke Grout in the second game. Schneider leads five games for three. now Schneider will have a chance to serve out the set. 
behind Guntart looking on, former tour player. Been working with Steffi for years. It's just remarkable right now, Tracy, to see Grop win just no points on Schneider's serve. Well, missed the last three returns in a row, not even getting the ball in play. Struggle, you, you hope for the good luck. Oh, yeah, but look at this. I love how Steffi Groff hits over this backhand here. Gets the racket down below the ball and brushes up for some topspin. Doesn't use that enough. And she has that shot. If it's not deep enough, then Patty has a good angle on that backhand cross court. Wynn carries that one long. Full thing. One thing about the weather today, these players are so lucky that the wind has died down a lot. That point here. Earlier today, Ted, it was just a gale. And Patty Schneider puts the short Schneider. ball away. She's gone to three. And Patty Schneider, the number 10 player in the world, a 19-year-old from Switzerland, an extremely strong first set on serve to take it six games to three from Steffi Grau. David, I feel your feelings betray a feeling I felt about your feelings. And I felt our feelings had grown beyond feeling this way. What you felt... Let's like face it, what? you're not always clear on a cellular but phone. To feel but now there's Sprint you PCS, like the only nationwide all-digital network feelings. for a new level of clarity. I'm going to Mexico with Brad. Sprint PCS. It's only for two weeks. Now, Sprint PCS is just a dime anytime, including long distance. Jerry, there's too much clutter. Let me know when you change. Change. Everybody parks, everybody wins. <laughs> Dear Christy, I've changed. One stamp, please. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> One stamp. You can do more with the American Express card. Oh, a rainbow. <gasps> Goodbye, it works. Oh, Christy, whoa. More change, Jerry? Yeah, pretty much. I'm here to announce exciting medical news. Introducing Monistat One, the one-dose yeast infection treatment from the brand we trust. Monistat One is so effective, just one treatment cures a yeast infection. Absolutely nothing works faster. Doctors know the one-dose keeps working for days for an effective cure. And it's the only one-dose treatment with the name doctors recommend most. New Monistat One. One dose from the number one doctor-recommended brand. Patty Schneider has won five titles this year, the hottest player on the women's circuit this year. And she has come out and played a terrific first set on her serve. Oh. And Groff, after the one service break early on, also played well on her serve. And she's gotten broken. She's only lost three points on her serve. Title leaders. Patty Schneider with five. And the first Swiss miss, Martina Hingis, with four. I think it's to be more accurate, the hottest player title has been given to Lindsay Davenport because of her hardcore success coming into the Open, but Patty Schneider has, has had the best overall year. <laughs> so, Steffi, all do serve and love to start the second set. So good, second set. is 
back with more selection and more deals. And right now, until September 14th, get an extra $500 cash back on Buick LeSabre. That's a total of $2,000 cash back on America's best-selling full-size car. Or save big with 0.9 APR financing. So come in today for more great deals on every 98 Buick. Isn't it time for a real car? More than you'll ever, ever know. Time's up. Shower's over. Saving up to buy a computer? Half a napkin. Half a napkin. Packard Bell makes home computers families can afford. You'll be able to manage your finances, access the internet, and help your children learn. Now it's possible for every family to own a computer without having to make those reasonable little sacrifices. Dad! Now when you buy a Packard Bell computer, you can win college tuition and other great prizes. So buy smart at a Packard Bell retailer near you. I got a dollar that buys me a tube of toothpaste. And a dollar that goes into a 401k. And the 401k guys invest in telecommunication stocks. And so my dollar's out there launching a satellite up in space. So some guy in Tokyo can call his mom in Plattsburgh or something. And the 401k is really growing. Which is great. Because when it finally kicks in, I'm going to be buying a whole lot more than toothpaste. Your ultimate goal. Where do you want to go from here? Um, to number one. <laughs> How long do you think it'll take? Two or three years. <laughs> How prophetic, huh? She's right. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a 15-year-old Steffi Groff. And I think about a 15-year-old Steve Mayer. <laughs> a former producer here at the U.S. Open for USA. Great guy. Who, uh allowed us to sneak that video footage out. Fifteen. Amazing. Fifteen years of watching Steffi Groff play here in New York City every fall. really bridging generations in the women's game trace for the first three times Steffi had a chance to win this event she got beat by Navratilova each time two semis in a final now she's playing against the other Martina mm -hmm. ah! the Williamses and Kornikova's the the next generation and actually Hingis didn't have a, a great quote about Steffi earlier no. this year she said it's pretty ugly oh, actually. she's had some results but she's older now some results, I'll say. with this shot right here. Steffi immediately looking over to the baselines, and I think it was out. Schneider looked over at Eric Van Harper. Eric Van Harpen, excuse me. Break point. Ooh, that was the first chance for Groff in the match. The first break point. And if you're going to come in on Steffi Groff, you definitely come in on that backhand side make her try to hit over the ball, or if she hits the slice, it's going to float up more rather than dip down. Oh! And now Groff will have a second try. The actual date she became number one was August 17, 1987. So it was just nearly three years to the day after that clip we showed. for the pace that went for the placement that top spin angle really has great racket control good finesse Eric Van Harpen 
told me before the match. Take a look at this top spin down the line. Stays down beautifully. Look at that racket work. So Patty Schneider saves two one break points down. and holds for one all-second set. Eric Van Harpen told me that that's actually part of the problem is because she has such good hands, when she gets in trouble, she's able to get herself back into the point, whip that racket hit around, and therefore she's been able to kind of stay lazy, he said. So he got himself there and then was able to do so much with the shot because he had such great feel. So Schneider's halfway there. Halfway there. She can do it. It's just a matter of becoming more disciplined. Remember, she's young, 19. position and then just rockets this backhand by Steffi Groff. You rarely see a winner go by Steffi because she is so fast. I think her speed has been slowed down maybe a half a step since the knee surgery. And the That's balls something. are coming back harder, right? Everyone's hit the ball harder. Definitely. Geez, that's tough. You're exactly right about that, Ted. Everybody's just that much stronger. This is an awesome forehand by Steffi Groff. Would have put somebody Thank five you. years ago in trouble. Not Patty Schneider. She's there and rockets it back. Original movies. And you'll be. Die. Linda Hamilton. Mario Van Peebles. Christine Lottie. Richard Grieco. Yasmin Bleeth. Dolph Lundgren. Michelle Lee. John Ritter. Lynn Whitfield. Patrick Stewart. Ann Archer. Harry Hamlin. Ali Sheedy. World premieres of original movies. Every month on USA Network. When some people... Mr. Brackett was a small-town teacher with a big day ahead of him until one of his students... Cameron Drake! ...made him famous. To Howard Brackett from Greenleaf, Indiana. Oh, and he's gay. So what's it gonna be? Do I look like a homosexual? Would you walk for me? Kevin Klein is... Macho, 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 in and out. Excuse me! Premier Saturday, September 12th, joining the outrageous fun on HBO and Cox Cable. Today, tonight, and tomorrow, three days only at Kids Warehouse, save up to 70%. San Diego's largest selection of baby furniture, cribs, strollers, car seats, clothing, shoes, learning toys, children's books, and much more. Today, tonight, and tomorrow, three days only at Kids Warehouse, save up to 70%. Make no down payment and pay no interest till the year 2000, or pay no sales tax. This Labor Day weekend, at the Bedroom Superstore. Save on America's largest selection of beds and bedrooms. Plus, no down payment and no interest till the year 2000. Or pay no sales tax only at the Bedroom Superstore. We're still seeing that beautiful full moon. It's warm and humid tonight in New York. The forecast actually is that rain is on the way for tomorrow's matches, perhaps. 
And then uh, we understand fall is arriving. It's supposed to get real cool here in New York starting Tuesday. Would have fooled me tonight. It's hot. <laughs> well, Patty Schneider right now has got Steffi Groff on the run, literally. Although now Steffi has a shot at 15:30. Fortune for Groff off the tape. 15 holes. Now Steffi with two break point opportunities here. Happens so often you get the break. And your opponent either raises their game or you have a letdown. Ballard. Wow. So suddenly Steffi Groff had lost seven points in a row. Had lost two great point chances early in the set. Comes roaring back. And we're on serve again. Second ace for Steffi tonight. Forehand is just not bothering more. Schneider at all. And remember, Steffi's favorite shot is that inside out forehand to what is usually someone's backhand, but now it's to Schneider's forehand. Whoop! Yeah, that's a great point. Scrop serves the third ace, but so far in this match, well, Schneider's had the better forehand. Definitely. Patty Schneider with six winners on the forehand side, Steffi Groff with two. Centrum has your nutrition covered. With Centrum, you benefit from what science is discovering about how vitamins and minerals help maintain health and strengthen immunity. Centrum, always complete from A to Zinc. <laughs> Son, we're preparing a will. You don't have to say anything. Actually, I think we do. Your sister's getting everything. What? You were a rotten kid. You drove your father crazy. But I'm counting on that money to retire. Hear that? Still greedy. Never prepared himself. <laughs> Don't be caught unprepared. Get outstanding research, investment expertise, and global strength at Alliance Capital, because later is sooner than you think. Great timepieces are built to run forever without replacing batteries. But only one of these is smart enough to run forever. On any kind of light, Echo Drive from Citizen lives at the speed of light. Welcome back to the U.S. Open on USA. And now the first laps for Patty Schneider. We're still on service. Schneider opening this game with a double fault. Remember, this is big time for Patty Schneider when she got to the quarterfinals of the French Open this year. That was the first time she got into the quarters of a Grand Slam. Oh! She's very calm and poised out there tonight. Schneider. 
Phil Stevenson, Steffi Groff definitely would like to be higher on her first service percentage because the unforced stairs double. Well, you mentioned Patty Schneider's makeup, Tracy, and it is interesting. She's reputed to be very level-headed. She doesn't have the wild emotional swings. She didn't really take tennis seriously until age 14. Her parents only let her play a couple of times a week until she was old enough to make a, a legitimate decision. Ooh, there's a good forehand right on the line. And that's why when we say she's young at 19, it, you got to remember when she started working with Eric Van Harpen a couple of years ago, when she was 17, she was 140 in the world. You compare that to Hingis, she's 17, she's been number one for over a year. Gam Schneider. Everybody matures at a different rate and different times. Right now, she is number 10 with a bullet. She's had a terrific year as Patty Schneider, even in the second set. And there are the five titles, as you mentioned, Trace, three different surfaces. Very, very impressive. She won the title in Hanover, which was their second of the year. It was played indoor on a fast surface. It's carpet. She was two match points down against Novotna in the final and came back to win. She has real guts and real poise. She said that was the biggest win of her career. Obviously, if she wins this match tonight, it would be the new biggest match of her career. Five titles, you rock it up there, and there you go into the top ten. Her two top losses in odd courts this year have been to the Williams sisters. Good serve by Steffi. Ace number four. I think it's good to show a rise in the rankings like that. You know, not everybody has to come up like the Martina Hingises and the Williams sisters and the Kornikovas, where they just rocketed into the top, top 20 in the first year or two. Later, she took her time to mature and won her first Grand Slam. Wimbledon this year at 29 years old. Took a while for her game to form and, and come together. Oh. That really came after working with Hanna Manlikova. Started working with her in her early 20s. Steffi Graf holding, we're still on serve at 4 3, Graf in the uh, second. Please call game 2 3. Let's go over to Stadium 2 and check in with Barry McKay. All right, Ted. Stadium 2, Byron Black and Alex Karecha going at it over here. Karecha with a two sets to one lead. But right now, Black leads 6 5, and Karecha very unhappy. He got a bad call two games ago, and since then, his concentration has not been real good. We'll see if he can hang in here who played that unbelievable match against Pete Sampras. So many people remember. We look at Byron Black, a UCLA, UCLA, USC product, I should say. All those UCLA folks wouldn't like to hear that. An All-American there in 1991. Played some great Davis Cup earlier this year, beating both Rafter and Stoltenberg down in Mildura in Australia. And so that certainly was very impressive for Byron Black. Saw Jan Michael Gamble earlier today. He beat him at the 98 Wimbledon. Closer look at Alex Karecha. Currently ranks seventh on the ATP Tour. Seated seventh here at this year's U.S. Open. And now Alex Karecha steps up to try and get into a tiebreak here in the fourth set. Yet another player from Barcelona, Spain. Five six fourth set. Karecha to serve. Ball. Easy put away for Karecha. 15 love. 15 love. Karecha taking a little 
little extra time on this big game. And it worked for him there, right down to center. A service ace, his 13th of the match. 109 miles per hour, right down the center. And now Karecha, two points away from a tie break. Short lob and now Karecha at 40 love. No call. Service ace number 14 and Alice Karecha over here on Stadium 2 now into a tie break. This match three hours old on our Citizen Watch match time out there. Started way back at around 5.30 this afternoon. The afternoon session and now a tie break in the fourth. Karecha up two sets to one. Topspin comes in, deep shot, stretches Black out wide, and then just blocks the easy volley into the open court. Rachel has not come into net that often in this match. One zero, Karecha with the mini break here in the tie break. Karecha playing some long matches this year. All three of his matches have been over three hours long. He likes to grind them out. Slice again, he's in. Yes! That was his 50th winner at net. He's come in 146 times. Not a bad effort for Karecha, but he has waited for long rallies to work himself into net. So now Karecha up 2-0 and up two sets to one, trying to close this match out on Stadium 2. It's long and wide. Short ball. No way. Let's go back now to Stadium One. All right, Barry. Karachi and Moya, the Spaniards, have to do everything in five sets here. They're not allowed to be shorter than that. Right now, it's love 30. On drop serve. So, crucial point. Steffi just had a call to go against her that she disagreed with. Two forehand airs to get it to love 30 from Steffi Groff. And a double oh. call. Oh. Well, it's going to get late early here for Steffi Kroc. Facing a triple break point. Already down a set. Thank you. a longer match and I think they respect everything that Steffi Groff has gone through in her long career. Steffi's had so many injuries, so many stops 
Jackson starts even more this year. She's even admitted she was thinking about retirement. Just got tired of the stops and starts and getting healthy again and then getting another injury. One more break point for Schneider. we wait for the schneider Grop presumption let's go back to the tie break with barry mckay all right ted it is three points so all over here in the tie break fourth set six games all and we are dead even in the tie break as karacha now trying to close this match out against byron black again he has used that slice serve in the deuce court against black often out wide it's worked for him oh no, that's long the two-hander goes over the baseline so alex karacha struggling out here trying to close this match out he has a two sets to one lead byron black the Groff forehand. Steffi pushed it long. Oh! Tell you, it's so tough to finish out the match. One thing to get to this point, but we can see how well she closes it. Keeps moving that arm through where she gets a little tight. to read because she can pull it cross court, hit it inside out. Two points away. Eric Van Harpen, Schneider's coach. Oh. Just a bit lower. against Spain. Of course, her teammate, Martina Hingis. Great no, matter how, no matter how good a year she 
she's had Tracy, as you mentioned, she's still trying to finish off a champion. Throw all that history out the window. Heffy's not going away easily. Great depth on that forehand. Great point. above Steffi's head when she hit it. Racket head beveled, pushed it long. Get hold of. Match point number two. just starting for her. I tell you, the women's draw right here is just loaded with big names, great matches, and Patty Snyder just played an incredible match tonight. Showed all the talent that she had. Great groundie, great thinker on the court. So, introduce yourself to another new name in women's tennis. She's had a great year, and now America knows about Patty Schneider. dollars buys me a burrito and another one buys me a homeowner. 